was searching for an alternate electronics board for my load cell based pedals because of electronics issues. I found this LC USB 16 bit board by Leo Bodnar. All the inputs support 16 bit resolution and the values can range from 0 to 65,500. It has an inbuilt EMI filters which filters down the electrical noise from the external devices. Cost of a single unit is 32 pounds, with shipping and import duties, final cost was around 55 pounds. It has one load cell input, ideal for brake pedals, two potentiometer or hall sensor inputs, which is ideal for accelerator and clutch pedals. This is a plug and play device and it has USB B type port. Common load cells are four wired, where red and black are the inputs and the green and white are the outputs. Connect the four wires from the load cell into the board as shown in the image. If your load cell has only three wires, you will need three to four wire converter board. Connect the plus 5V and ground to the input of the potentiometer or hall sensor. Plug the output from them into the IN pin. For inputs that are not used, connect a jumper to avoid raw value fluctuations. For Symphos replacement, step 1. Remove the load cell wires and connect the wires to the LC board as shown in the image. Step 2. Remove the 3 pin output connector of the accelerator and clutch pedal. Connect it to the input of the LC USB board. For Symphos hall sensors, the order of the signal and plus 5V are different. I reordered and soldered it to match with the LC USB board. Plug the USB to the PC and go to the game controller properties. Verify whether the values are changing when the pedals are pressed. Step 3. Download and open the configuration software from the product page. Under the input gain, you can adjust the gain of the load cell and the other inputs. For load cell gain, it is recommended to use the maximum value which is 1022. For throttle, adjust the gain value until the green bar touches the end. Last step, download and open the DAI view application. With DAI view, you can do advanced calibration with custom preload and saturation values. I'll close the clutch section which is not used. For throttle pedal, min value is 48,000 and the max value is 65,000. Enter these values in the min and max fields. I added 3% to the min for the preload and subtracted 3% from the max for the saturation. For center, add the min and max and divide it by 2. Repeat the same step for the brake pedal. Map the throttle and brake pedal and enjoy racing. This board is already used in BJ Sim Racing pedals and Proto Simtek pedals. Could be a perfect choice for DIY Sim Racing pedals and handbrakes based on load cell. There are multiple gain settings with 6 to 7 digit operation. It can work with wide range of potentiometers and load cells. Unique serial number helps Windows in storing and retrieving the settings. It allows the usage of more than one device. If you order more than 10 devices, Leo Bodnar can change this name for you. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon in another video.